What's up, world? Welcome to Cage Minds. I'm your host, Micah. Today we're talking about Bellator 55. We're going to give you the results from how my predictions did. Let's get right to it. The first fight, Steve Gable versus Ricardo Trelawney. We had thought that Trelawney, more explosive, would win with a second round TKO. He ended up winning in the second round. Stoppage, it was a rear naked choke. A right prediction on my part, wrong stoppage, it was a good fight. Next fight was a Bellator super fight with Travis Hugh taking on Christian Mpumbu, the Bellator light heavyweight champion. Mpumbu carrying that Bellator banner going in this fight. In Bellator super fights, their champions were 12 0, had not lost. Hugh, a big wrestler, uses wrestling, his power, his size, took down, grounded, pounded, and wore out Mpumbu, a three round unanimous decision for Hume. We had predicted a third round TKO, so that's a wrong prediction on our part. Next bout. Alexis Vila versus Marcos Galvon. This bout is the first of the two Bantamweight quarterfinals, which was the feature of this event. We had Alexis Vila, we thought, winning with the first round TKL. Thought it'd just be a more explosive, a dominant striker. Didn't go down exactly that way. Even as I was scoring the fight, I thought he lost it. It went all the way through to the judges. A striking battle all the way. He got a split decision nod in a fight that I feel Galvon was probably robbed again. Second time in Bellator for him being robbed by the judges. But Alexis Vila advances. And the last fight, Edward Dantes took on Ed Wild West. We had predicted a unanimous decision victory for Edward Dantes. And it ended up going to the decision. It was by a split decision, but I, he did just what I thought. Outstruck, did more work in a powerful, damaging sort of way. He was more aggressive, more powerful with his strikes. West used kicks, West used his strikes. He tried to be on his bike, it was just that he was unaffected at what he was doing when he was landing strikes. They didn't really hurt. Dante's inflicting more damage got the split decision victory. That was the recap and results from Bellator 55. Just to make it clear, KH Minds, we went three for one on our predictions. Should have been two and two, but the judges helped us out. We're three and one. I'll take that for the weekend. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back with our Bellator 56 predictions and with the UFC 137 preview show coming up. Thanks for watching. Peace.